guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm filming a video that was requested by you guys I had some people comment on videos and just ask if I could talk about some bronzer shades that I knew worked on my skin tone because you guys had a similar complexion to mine and I kind of wanted to turn this one into a little bit of a review roundup slash you know new bronzers that I picked up recently that I was enjoying not enjoying kind of just wanted to tell you a bit about some of the stuff I recently hauled and it just feels like the year of bronzer everyone's coming out with a bronzer so I wanted to talk about them so let's get into it so um, I have a few drugstore and a few high-end um, so let me do drugstore first and high-end next so the first thing I'm going to talk about is actually one that really disappointed me so this is the Milani number no. four sun drenched silky matte bronzing powder and yeah I picked this up online actually and typically you know bronzer shades they don't always work for me um, especially like the lightest shades don't work for me so I thought let me get four because four looks like it's gonna be dark enough the thing with my skin tone is I can't really do a red bronzer it ends up looking really muddy on me and this one really looks like it's more of a red heavy bronzer so I actually really don't like this bronzer mostly because of the color and because I don't like the color match I haven't really worn it at all if you look at this like the imprint is basically like perfect because I haven't worn it and yeah just not a fan maybe I should try a different color sometime but I'm I have so many bronzers right now that I don't really feel the need to try and repurchase a better shade match another bronzer I don't know is this new I feel like it is this is the wet and wild color icon bronzer this is the one they came out with in their like a uh, fire and ice collection with like the dragons and stuff this is again a beautiful bronzer i feel like i'm a little too tan for this right now but it is a drugstore bronzer you see it's not as red as the milani one and it's so affordable it's like under what four or five dollars apparently my hinge broke and i didn't realize but this one has a huge divot in it and yeah i hope i use it up because i like using up products so um i do like that bronzer and i would recommend again it's just a little too light for me right now but you can kind of see it there the next bronzer from the drugstore that i'm really enjoying is this guy by bh cosmetics this is the brilliance bronze in coco cutie and i believe this was like 10 bucks and it's a beautiful bronzer again you can see it's not so red it's more of a brown shade so it does work really well with my skin tone and I like it very much and the packaging is really nice and then my favorite bronzer of all three of the drugstore I mentioned is this guy and this is by Maybelline and this is the city bronze in the shade 300 I know they have some other shades as well so if you're lighter than me you can definitely you know check out the lighter shades but I really like this I think it blends really well you get a ton of product I like that they have different shades for different skin tones because that's always important instead of like doing the universal bronzer thing that drives me crazy so really happy with that I also have um you know ColourPop bronzers but I'm like gosh I wish they do more shades like more shimmery ones and different you know they have more of like a matte bronzer collection that you can get with their custom palettes I don't know why I was thinking of that but I guess maybe it's because Colourpop is so affordable but yeah um maybe I'll do an updated bronzer collection video I know I filmed one at one point and I've definitely added more bronzers to my collection is that something you guys would be interested in seeing let me know down in the comments so now on to some of the newer higher end bronzers that I have picked up this is the one I've really not tried out the most this is the cover fix um bronzer this is a darker shade and it is um suntan bronze and these were expensive i picked this up during um an alta coupon or something um there's the swatch of the uh matte side and then the shimmer side uh but i don't know i don't love this shade 
so much and I don't feel like it wears very long. I also don't love this packaging. I know some people do. I mean, I think it's a preference thing, but yeah, not my favorite of all the bronzers I've purchased recently. Um, I don't think this is necessarily a bronzer, but I wanted to include this. This is the Tantour by Huda Beauty and I have the shade Medium. These things are so dark and deadly looking, but they do blend out really, really nicely. The only thing is I feel like some days this wears better than other days. So I haven't quite decided if I love this product or if I just like it or if I completely hate it, but I feel like I get very inconsistent consistent results with it so I'm very much on the fence but I like the color match I think it's a good formula I think it's nicer than having a whole cream shadow palette with shades that you don't even need so I do like that she isolated it and just made one shade um, so you didn't have to buy a whole palette or something like that so no particular order these are my current like favorite bronzers um, this one was really quite the surprise the Aladdin bronzer from the new collection this is your wish is my command and it's a beautiful bronzer I love max bronzers some of them are too light but this one I'm so glad they made it like tan girlfriend because come on princess jasmine is tan you can't really see it right here but i love throwing this all over my face in the summertime and the limited edition packaging is just the cherry on top so i love that uh, this one is one of my fave fave faves i love kevin aquan's face powders uh like i have one blush from him that i absolutely love so i was so excited when they did bronzers and they actually have three shades i believe this is the darkest shade it's called dusk medium and it's beautiful it just like melts into my skin i love this so so much and i'm so so happy that he did bronzers and I picked this up from Sephora. And then the last thing was also a Sephora purchase. This is the new Sunstalker um, bronzers from Rihanna and I got the shade Caramel Cutie. I had a different shade previous to this one and it was too red and I didn't enjoy it because it was too red and I was like, ooh, like what is up with this? And then I realized when I saw Caramel Cutie in person that the shade I originally had purchased was not the one for me. So I did pick this and I love it. I love the formula, it blends well. Again, just a beautiful bronzy formula. Let me give you guys a swatch because I forgot. I stopped swatching, oh my gosh. Okay, let me see if I can show you this color. Um, where, do you see it? It's right there. So that is Caramel Cutie, and then let me swatch the Kevin Aquan one. I don't know if I'll be able to do this justice, but let me try and see. See, that one's a little red too, but it doesn't bother me as much, so it must really depend on the formula. Anyway, those are some of the bronzes I have recently purchased. Some of them I really love. Some of them are just okay, but I thought it would be a fun video to share with you guys because I know there is a lot of people with my skin tone watching my channel, so I feel like this is going to be useful for you guys. Definitely share this video with a friend if you have any tan skin friends that are, you know, looking for a good bronzer recommendation. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys!